everyone, it's Cheryl the Craft Nut 32 and I'm here tonight with a quick card share. This card was so much fun to make. I have loved how it turns out and I'm excited to share it with you. This is a card created with a stamp set I got the other day in my haul from Simon's Stamp. It's a My Favorite thing stamp, you know me. And I used this cute little guy with a shovel. I used the sentiment I dig you and a mushroom and the snail. So what I did is I grabbed some my Spectrum Nar markers, I colored him in, and then I used my scissors and I fussy cutted him out and the snail and the mushrooms. And I didn't buy the dies, I just thought that's an easy way of saving with craft supplies, everything kind of really adds up. So I tend not to buy a lot of dies and this was really easy to cut out, so I'm kind of glad I saved my money. I used a little exacto knife, which was really easy for the space between the shovel and his body. And then I used my Memento Tuxedo Black Marker and this little tip right here, I'm sure everyone's seen this, is really nice for going around images, fussy cutting them. It gives it like a really nice big black border, which I really love. Um, then for the card, I used my silhouette. I cut out some grass with a file 77097 and that file actually is a flower pop pop-up card. So I ungrouped everything, I deleted everything except for the grass, I cut it out with this nice bright green and then some dark green. I grabbed some Distress Ink, my peeled paint, just to kind of give it like a nice little tone on the end. I then cut out a picket fence, which is number 61717, and, excuse me, I cut it out twice so I could have it span the whole width of the card. I grabbed my My Favorite Things Wood Grain background stamp, some Simon's Stamp Dark Chocolate Ink to give it the nice little wood finish look on the picket fence. And I really love how that turned out. So I glued that down, I layered up my grass, I tucked in the mushrooms and then the snail, and then I popped up this little gnome guy. And I think it's so cute. So I guess before I glued everything down, I did create the sky. And I did that using a finger dauber and some distress inks again. I used tumble glass and broken china. And then I have this die cut. It is from a paper tray ink heart to heart stamp set. I'm not sure which one. Anyways, I have, um, I keep it and I use it for all my stamping. That's why it's so blue, or not stamping really, like daubing of any kind of background clouds and it's really easy. So around the clouds I use the tumbled glass and then around the edge, I hope I'm in the frame, around the edge of the card I use the broken china just to kind of fill in any little white spots that might be left over and kind of give it like a nice, I don't know, sky look. Um, and that really kind of completed the scene. To finish it off I stamped my sentiment. I used some Memento Tuxedo Black ink for that and I just did it up in the corner. And I love how this card turned out. It was so much fun. Um, I envisioned this card right off the bat looking at that stamp set and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I didn't really do much with the inside. I had a leftover mushroom so I glued it down there which kind of is really cute. And that is the card. Um, I hope everyone is having a great Saturday night and thanks for watching. Bye!